Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a soft focus effect in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by duplicating your background layer. Next, right click on the background copy layer and convert to smart object so we can apply some filters. Click on filter in the top menu and choose Gaussian blur from the blur dropdown. Choose a radius value of around 70 pixels and then hit OK. Reduce the opacity of this layer to around 50% and then click on the Add Layer Mask button. With the foreground color set to black, activate the brush tool and make sure the flow is set to 5%. With the layer mask selected, slowly paint over the eyes to allow more details to show through. Next, click on the Channels tab and activate the red channel. Click on the Load Channel as Selection button and activate the RGB channel. Go back to the Layers tab and bring in a solid color adjustment layer. Choose white and then click OK. Right click and convert to Smart Object so we can apply some filters. Click on Filter in the top menu and choose Gaussian Blur from the Blur dropdown. Choose a radius value of around 100 pixels. Click on FX and choose Blending Options. Hold the Alt or Option key and split the dark slider in the underlying layer section. Drag the broken half slider all the way to the right. This will ensure that the soft focus glow is mostly applied to the highlights and the transition between the dark and the light pixels is smooth. Play around with the broken left slider to tweak this effect further. Create a brand new layer and rename it to Dodge. With the foreground color set to white, Use the brush tool to paint over the dark circles under the model's eyes. Ensure that the flow is set to 5%. Reduce the opacity to around 70%. Create another layer and rename it to Brighten Eyes. Change the blend mode to Color Dodge, then click on FX and choose Blending Options. Uncheck Transparency Shapes layer, which is telling Photoshop to not use transparency as a boundary. With the foreground color set to white, the flow value set to 5%, use the brush tool to paint over the areas of the eyes that you would like to brighten. Reduce the opacity of this layer to around 80%. Now bring in a gradient fill adjustment layer and click inside the gradient to open the gradient editor. Choose foreground to transparent from the basics dropdown and double click on the first color stop. Pick black, and click OK to exit. Choose Radial from the Style dropdown and change the angle to 33 degrees. Check Reverse and change the scale value to around 115%. Double click on the Gradient thumbnail and now you should be able to drag the gradient around as per your liking. Reduce the opacity of the vignette layer to around 70%. Finally, let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.